As you can see, I'm using Python on VS Code on my Chromebook right now. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can do the same. The first step to get Python on Chromebook is to get the Linux terminal. To get the Linux terminal, I need you guys to type in settings and hit enter right away. Great. Now, I need you guys to focus on the left panel, scrolling all the way down to the bottom until you find the About Chromeware section. Excellent. Now, go ahead and search for the Linux development environment and click the Setup button to the right-hand side of that. Now, once in the interface, I need you guys to go ahead and click on Next. Now, as you can see, it allows you to customize your username. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and also comment down if this video works for you. Now, let's go right back. And so I'm going to make my GD7 OS for the sake of this video. And I'm going to leave it on recommended because 10 gigs is just enough for me. And I'm going to click on install. Now, while this is downloading, we'll be moving on to the next step. Great. Now, once your terminal is down downloading or installing, go ahead and click on your launcher on the left hand side and type in terminal. And then once that is there, go ahead and select the one with the green and white slash right there. Now, once this opens, go ahead and click on Penguin right under Linux, which should load you and boot you up into your terminal. How to install VS Code on Chromebook? Go to your browser and type in vt 7 playz dot b l o g s p o t dot c o m slash two zero two five slash zero three slash v s dot h t m l and press enter and wait for the page to load. Wait, now this page is loaded up. Scroll down, copy this link and open a new tab and go ahead and paste it there and press enter right away. Now, as you can see, our file has already been downloaded. So go ahead and click on show in folder. And you, you see the file, go ahead and right click, cut it, go over to Linux files and paste it there. Great. Now go ahead and right click on it and click on rename. Now just write VSC and do not touch the dot .fracref part and save it. Otherwise it could lead to a corrupt file. How to download Python on Chromebook. Now go back to your terminal and type in sudo space apt space update and hit enter. Great. Now type in sudo space apt space upgrade and hit enter now press y and hit enter great now this was to make sure that your chromebook is up to date so we won't have any issues when we're downloading microsoft office now type in cat space forward slash etc forward slash debian underscore version and hit enter your version should at least be 10 to continue. We've verified that your Chromebook is up to date. Now we can install Microsoft Office. So you're going to type in sudo space apt space install space flatpak and you're going to hit enter. Great. Now type in Y and hit enter again. Now wait for it to download. Once that has been downloaded, go ahead and type in sudo space flatpak space install space vsc dot f l a t p a k r e f and press enter now wait for this to install installation is now complete now go to the launcher on the bottom left and type in visual studio you don't even need to type everything and it will show up go ahead and click on it great great now there's visual studio working on my chromebook now how to code on python we're going to go to our extensions and on the search bar we're going to type in python and we're going to hit enter great now go ahead and click on it and click on the install button right there great now it has been installed now i'm going back now i'm going to double click to open a new file now click on select a language i'm going to search python and i'm going to click on it great so I'm just going to go ahead and write hello world here and we're going to run it. By the way, we also need to get another extension. So we're going to go over to the extension bar and we're going to type in code runner and press enter and you're going to install this. Great. Now that has been installed. We can run it now. I'm going to click on the run button right there. And as you can see, there is hello world outputted on our screen. This is how you can get Python on your Chromebook. Go ahead and try it yourself. Now, if you want to know how you can get Steam on your school Chromebook, go ahead and click on the video on the screen. Otherwise, like and subscribe to the channel and comment down below if this video worked for you. Peace out.